All right, what exactly are we looking at here, folks? Let me tell you. This is the future of RC technology combined with 3D printing greatness. Ain't that cool? What's going on, guys? Random Andrew coming at you with a different kind of video, sticking with the RC related, along with some 3D printing greatness. Yeah, we got something new to show you. That's neat, eh? And it's flexible. Okay, let me start by explaining for those of you who might not know already, inside of an RC tire, I believe when you got some super soft tires, you need what's inside them. So usually we put foam inserts, a tire insert, a wheel insert, simulating having an inflated tire or a low air pressure tire depending on the softer foams you get. Usually you want a pretty soft foam so rocks can bite into the tire and help you get traction, you know? That being explained, I got an issue with uh, foams. I got an issue with foams and tires. They're great so you get good soft ones but I don't like spending a lot of money on something that's just going to disintegrate. So, I've got a solution. There's a lot of problems though when you're running foams. They hold water if you like to play in water. Some guys won't even put their trucks near a puddle. These guys have no idea what they're missing. But, I'll show you a problem with it. That's not a good noise. That is a problem, okay? Foams hold water. Tires hold water when you get it in it. Yeah, that's lovely. And that's some ganky crick water from, geez, probably last time we was our scene with this truck. It's a few weeks back. I'm hoping we get a little bit less of that. Tires will be able to drain off easier without holding anything because there won't be any foams anymore. That's right, we're replacing the foams with these inserts. These inserts are printed with a filament that is called TPU. If you want to look it up, just type uh, 3D printer filament TPU and Google will have tons to tell you. This is a file that I found online. Uh, insert creator name here if I can find it. If not, uh, if you see this on here, but I like these. We're gonna give them a shot. We're gonna try it. I got two printed right now because both of my front tires, the foam's completely disintegrated. There were a three-stage foam and the white, there's a white, a gray, and a blue, and I do believe it's a white that is completely gone. It's turned into sand inside the rubber, which is long gone because, wow, you clean and right out. So that you got nice and clean stuff to work with. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this, already has one of these in it. Still nice and soft. It feels about the squish of a good expensive foam. So we're gonna, before we go to that stage, we're gonna pull this guy apart, have a look at the condition of the foam in here and show you yet another reason why to switch over to something new and experimental. So why do I have these guys though? What are these guys doing here? Well this right here was the very first one I printed and I read the measurements wrong. This takes quite a bit more effort to squish. You can see though, it's like the airless tires that you've seen on the internets. Right? And there is printouts for airless tires, yeah. I still got support structure pieces coming out of it. I don't know how I was supposed to print it with supports, but I did. And then this guy was my second attempt at a more proper size. And it squishes so different yet again. But there was also an issue with printing. Ran into some clog issue where it wasn't fully extruding properly. Under extruding, I think that's called. And then these inner sidewall parts here. Like I could push that right apart with my thumb right now if I wanted. Okay, maybe not. It, it is some pretty strong stuff, but here's an example here. You see how it's all like that right there? Not like that right there. That is kind of a little still, but you get the point. Compared to that side, that side's not right. It won't be getting used, but I wanted to show you guys my attempts so far. Wrong size. Oh, is it ever the wrong size? This will work in a 1.5 that's tall enough. And this 
was once I figured out exactly what 1.9 size I needed. See? Exactly what 1.9 size I needed. And then to kind of show you again, it does fall a little bit short of the height, but you know, I think that works for simulating more of a low air pressure tire anyways. That's where you get, oh, how can I simulate the weight of the truck on here for you? Well, by the time we're done, we're gonna throw these on the old Ford and you can see how it sits. And then I'm gonna be doing a run video at some point too to show you how they perform. So let's get on tearing that down. So let me tell you what a mess it was to try and get these all separated. It's been a while since so those, they were a little bit seized together. So I saved this joy to show you guys. You see what all isn't there? Look at that. Part of that gray foam just stops. So let's do this. Oh, there's nothing left. It's, it's a complete ring still. And you see these white chunks? There was a third stage foam on there. And then there was a, th it was thicker. I promise you guys, that was a much thicker foam. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to wash this out. Clean up the three rim pieces. You can see they're just a bit lovely. Time for foam from the other side. These were rears, by the way. Oh, look at that. Did you guys just, did you see that? Look at that. Okay, so, there's your cheap Chinese foams. <laughs> now, those are, those are nice 1.9 RC four wheel drive mud slingers. Those are your nice Chinese, cheap Chinese foams. I don't think Proline or any of those really name brand companies, I don't think you'll get that with them. This is not a promo for them. I could be totally wrong. They might rot too if you're a mud bogger, if you're a water dog, if you like getting that stuff nice and gooey. This is a result. So now I get to clean up this nice lovely mess. And when I come back to you guys, we will be putting this into one of the rears. I still have the third one printing right now, or sorry, the fourth one. I've got the insert set on top of the tire just to kind of make sure I've got my direction right. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong, but this will be, oh, battery's done. That'll be the rotational direction. So I figure we'll have these so they kind of scoop or bite in. I don't really think it'll make a big difference at all. Maybe that'll be something to test in the future. But here we go, let's slap these together. I'm mainly just sharing this portion with you guys so you can see how easily and how squishy flexible these things are, making them easy going getting this all together. It's honestly even easier when you're not trying to do it in front of a camera. Right, there's one. In case you missed it the first time. Boom, boom, just like that. And then it even seats really nice. Like the person who originally designed these ones did a pretty good job at the size. So now I'll finish putting the rims together off camera, save us some time, get them on the truck, and let's see how it sits. Real quick before we throw them back on the truck, show you tire. Actually, how can I do this evenly? To try and show you that they both have actually like equal squish, if anything, a touch softer on the 3D printed side. Let's get them on the truck. Well, what do you think? Got them mounted on the honcho. I want to give it a little bit of squish in the front. She ain't not squishing very much now, is she? She, he, I don't know. The honcho, he or she, or doesn't really even matter. Anywho. I think it's gonna work out rather well. You're gonna have to stay tuned. We're gonna get this guy out on the trail. I, st I still have yet to trail test it since uh, premiering it as a 3D print build for you guys. Yeah, I know. It's not 100% on here. The body's not pinned. The posts aren't seated as you just seen me trying to correct. 
but it's looking good. I'm even considering possible mud flaps, maybe a workbox, toolbox in to fill this space a little bit. Either way though, not bad for a first poncho build. Mostly 3D printed stuff to this truck. The world of 3D printing is actually pretty dang amazing. If you look at everything that's on this truck now, including the feature of this video, tire inserts, and there's more styles to try in the future. So stay tuned, lots of 3D printing goodness, RC greatness, make sure you're subscribed, get the notification bell turned on, or you won't, you won't catch it, you'll miss out. We'll see you guys soon. Talk to you later.